first semi-final at Cincinnati pulled together two of the superstars of the game in an all-European matchup. Sweden's finest Stefan Edberg seeded two against Michael Stig seeded three. The first set was all Edberg. He stormed into a 4-1 lead using his backhand to great effect. His forehand was in good shape too. And at 5-2 first set, he wrapped up what had been a poor set from Stig. Not that there's too much the German can do about passes like that. Always a crowd favourite in Cincinnati, where he's played 12 consecutive years, Edberg found stronger resistance in the second set. Stieg did well to turn round a match that had started so poorly for him, but he couldn't close the set out serving at 5-4, so a tie-break was needed. decisive play took him all the way to 5-1 up in the breaker but it's not how you start it's how you finish that counts and it was Edberg who came through to reach his sixth Cincinnati final in last year's final Edberg had fallen in a three-setter to Michael Chang who was David Wheaton's opponent in the other semi-final this was their ninth meeting, with Wheaton 5-3 ahead, although Chang had won twice in the Far East earlier this year. In successive rounds, Wheaton, a qualifier, had defeated an injured Lendl, top seed Bruguera and Jim Courier, but Chang was on top in this encounter. gave him a two-love second set lead. Now, this was Wheaton's eighth singles match in eight days. Watch how hard he has to work for points against the human ball machine down the other end. You will get fit if you play a fired up Michael Chang. Wheaton, exhausted but not out of it, was hanging on. Tough call on the baseline, but it wasn't reversed. Wheaton dropped his serve, and it looked all over. But when you've won a few matches and the ranking is high, it's easy to fight. Wheaton broke back to four all. That got Chang going. Listen to the screeching of his shoes on the concrete as he chases down every ball. Desire for victory is Chang's greatest quality. But what other advantages does he feel that he has? I, I'm a little bit smaller than everyone else, so you know I think that uh, that gives me a little bit of an advantage. Uh, you know my center of gravity is a little bit lower, so it allows me to move around the court a little bit faster. I have kind of adapted a little bit more. Instead of using my speed always for defensive purposes, I think I've been able to try to capitalize and use them a little bit more for for aggressive purposes, and I think it's really helped me out. And so to the final the ninth all top 10 final in the last 10 years at the Thriftway ATP Championships. These two guys have played 16 times with Edberg leading 11-5. On hard courts, Edberg is 9-3 up. The basic pattern of an Edberg-Chang match is Chang trying to pass with Edberg trying to get to the net on effective approach shots. The trouble for Edberg was that Chang's passing shots were finding the mark and it brought the American the first set 6-2. Perhaps Edberg could stay back and rally to find his rhythm. But not if Chang was going to strike the ball as cleanly as that. Edberg's pursuit of a third Cincinnati title was not going well. Winning overheads feel good, and so does holding serve. Edberg moved ahead 2-1 in the second set. He hadn't lost a match since Wimbledon in July, so if there was a way to win, he would certainly find it. A 
Only John McEnroe and Stefan Edberg have ranked number one in both singles and doubles. That's the caliber of player Chang was beating. It wasn't just quality tennis Edberg was up against. The net cord seemed to be on Chang's side also. <laughs> Chang is a true sportsman. When he says he's sorry, he means it. Small consolation for the Swede, though, with Chang now serving for the championship at 6-5. It was now or never for Edberg. The crowd did what they could to lift him, but Chang would not be denied his fifth title of the year. <laughs> Chang had successfully defended the Thriftway ATP Championship. Disappointment for Stefan Edberg, who didn't like the sideline call one little bit. But no one can doubt the strength and determination of the speed king, Michael Chang. Time now for the numbers game. Go and watch as Stolly is at 117. Grab holds the number 100 spot. Back in the top 50 for semi-finalist Wheaton, while Jason threatens the 20. Very few changes as we go into the top 10. But Andre is leapfrogged by the Cincinnati champ. The top five are all the same. Pete's hobbling, but there's no catching him just yet.